Hey, what's up guys? This is Dr. Saturn and welcome back to Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. In this episode, we'll be taking on Colossus, which is the second level in the game. So let's get to it. Yeah, the memory card has changed, but that doesn't really mean a whole lot. Because I I save using quick saves anyway. Whoa, what's the implication here? Uh, yeah, welcome to Colossus. It's so far it's nothing really that difficult. I mean, this game just isn't difficult, like, at all. Aside from, like, maybe a bunch of difficulty spikes on bosses, but it's really nothing that crazy. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, in this game we have cutscenes at the beginning of every level showing the NPCs having all sorts of different problems, which obviously we need to fix, and the problem in this world, well, let's find out. A yeti has been, a yeti has been r rampaging around our home, but we've managed to trap him by shutting all the doors. If you talk to the older brothers, they will open the gates and guide you to him. Yeah, and this is pretty much the main uh, gimmick of this level. We need to talk to the brothers and open the doors. To get the, tal to get the talisman for this level, you have to make it safely to the exit. Yeah, that's the... That's uh, pretty much the objective of every level. Ahem, uh, yeah. The enemies here are kind of like Himalayan themed. Just like this, uh, this whole level. Even these guys, I don't know what they are. Uh, I think some kind of monkeys or something. Uh, but I don't know what they are, but I just love their design so much, especially in this version. The reignited one is just awful. And the fodder is a penguin. A, a rock penguin, actually. And I, I just have no idea why that's the case. Like this Himalayan setting. By concentrating, I should be able to open this door for you. Yeah, this shant uh, is so iconic. Uh, it kind of makes me wish they didn't have to uh, get rid of it in Reignited Trilogy. <laughs> I don't get it. Unless it was like some actual, like, real world, uh, like, prayer or something. Then, wow. <laughs> where, where do I sign up? Uh, yeah, so this level is just very, very simple. Uh, overall, even the even the the map of this level is just really, really simple. Who needs a key when you know how to shunt like this? Oh, oh. Enemies like those. Enemies like those yaks are too big to be charged. Use your flame attack. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what I was uh, talking about in the first episode. Uh, with the big enemies with hammers, you know, the lizards, guys. Yeah, the, so some enemies are just too big to uh, charge. Each time you defeat an enemy, it will release a spirit particle. The spirit particles will activate the power-up in that world. Uh-huh. Yeah, so this is pretty much... Uh, a recurring thing in the trilogy, I guess. I think it's been a long time since I played the first game, so I don't really remember if those like pyramids thingies are in the first game. But yeah, uh, in the second game and in the third game, you have. No, it, actually, you don't have uh, this in the third game because this is the only game in which you have the spirit particles. Uh, in other games, the enemies just drop uh, jumps, which we will find out in the Spyro 3 playthrough, which I really can't wait to start. 
So yeah, make sure to uh, check this gap. This isn't lethal. <clears throat> now, as you can see, we need 11 enemies. And I don't know how many we kill already. 7 out of 13. That means we have to kill uh, 4 more. Oh yeah, just in case you haven't noticed, Sparks is a good homie. He pretty much acts like a gem magnet and hey, look. I'm all here for it. Hey, look what I can do. Yeah, sick shant bro. Of course, we gotta take the life. Uh, grab some... Oh yeah, these are metal jars and we can't uh, destroy them with a fire. As you can see, these can be only uh, killed, destroyed with a charge. So that makes sense. I like how there's like some variety in this game. Yeah, we're gonna have to come back to this uh, room actually sometime later. Because this level has um, three orbs, as you can see on the menu. And yeah, we're gonna get all of them, even if two of them are actually a pain to get. And there's also a skill point, which I'm gonna talk about in, j in just a second. Yeah, obviously this is the level in which we can actually glide. And we obviously can glide in all of the levels, but yeah, this is where it's actually useful. Uh, we killed 10 now, so we just need one more enemy here to activate the, the pyramids. Oh boy, this is really awkward. Here is a, I guess, crate or metal box, metal jar that cannot be destroyed with anything. We're just too weak for it, no matter if we try hard with fire and charge, we cannot destroy it. There is another way and we will find out how to destroy it in just a second or just a minute because it's gonna take a while bef before we actually start collecting the gems for real. Uh, what's there? Oh, that's the, that's the thing here. Uh, so yeah, I played a bit of this level before recording, just to prepare myself for what's to come. I hope you understand, but yeah, this is... Obviously, I just explored it for a while. Yeah, and here we have uh, the activated pyramids, which give us a spring power-up. That's non nothing other than a super jump. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, I haven't been hit by any enemy so far, so I haven't been able to show uh, what the blue sparks looks like, and that's a good thing, actually. That means that we are really, really hardcore. And I, and I think our first side quest starts here. As you can see, here's the professor. But we are not gonna bother with him yet. Before we do that, I'm actually gonna have to grab a bunch of more gems. Oh yeah, we have 600 now, so we can pay for the swimming lessons. This place looks nice, actually. And yeah, we are gonna come back here. They have really, really weird like teeth in their mouths. That's really creepy, actually. And it will make sense uh, in just a second when we activate the Professor uh, side quest. But before we do that, let's actually uh, finish the main, main quest of this level. And uh, this guy 
This is actually my favorite line in the entire game, and you'll see why in just a second. Even though I'm a vegetarian, I think you should kill that yeti. He's I think you should kill that yeti. This guy is so passionate about getting rid of this yeti that he goes off script and literally says kill instead of torch. Bless. And as you can see, here's the yeti. Which is a mini boss, I think. Oh my god, he's so scary. Uh, guys, I'm not prepared for this. This is really difficult. Oh, okay. I thought the Yeti was tougher than that. I guess he was all bark. Anyway, I was just uh, guarding our secret talisman to make sure the Yeti didn't eat it. And just like that, we get the talisman and the level is over. But obviously not for us yet, as there is something I want to do, and that is make my way to the first side quest in this level, which is actually pretty nice. It isn't really nothing like difficult. Obviously, there will be difficult side quests in this game, but luckily not now. Oh, thank. Thank goodness you scared that evil spirit away, but now it will hide in the statues. If you were to flame all 10 statues, I'm sure you would chase it away for good. Yeah, and the main objective of this side quest is to flame 10 statues that are green. And as you can see, all of the golden statues in this place have turned green. I think that's all of them, but I'm not sure, I haven't checked. And as you can see, yeah, they have evil uh, teeth, evil sharp teeth, which now makes much more sense. And yeah, this is nothing difficult. We just gotta find 10 of these. And that's it. And the orb is ours. Yeah, I, oh, jeez. So I think, I'm pretty sure I have all of these uh, statues memorized. I know there's one here. There's one uh, over here. And there are a bunch of them inside, so yeah. Um, hang on, hang on just a second. Okay, I'm back, and oh boy, you know what that means. The cat is here just to interrupt my playthrough here. Alright, I think uh, he might not uh, do such much trouble, but yeah. Just in case you hear like uh, yelling, then yeah, that's just me getting like my cat to behave. Uh, there's a statue here. And we have six of them already, and... SHUT UP! Yeah, I don't know, just every time I record, my cat just loves to interrupt me. Um, yeah, and I think the last statue is somewhere at the beginning. Or am I just making that up? Yeah, I think I, uh... I forgot where the, where the last statue is. Yeah, the jumping uh, through these pyramids is really satisfying. Ah, uh, jeez. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is pretty much our introduction to ice physics. This leads us to another side quest, which we'll do in just a second. Wow! I'm speechless at the moment. My cat just wanted to, like, go here and... Ah, uh, just forget it. Okay, the cat is now... Uh, it became tame, I guess. Uh, sorry about that. Sorry about some of the cat hijinks. I'm afraid this will not, like, um, this will happen again sometime later in the future. 
But yeah, I'm just hoping that this isn't like this is the last time well I'm done. seeing my cat here interrupting my playthrough. Well done, Spyro, you've scared the evil spirit away. Why don't you take this? I borrowed it from the temple, they don't need it. Nice. By the way, we were supposed to collecting these, so why aren't you just giving me them to me for free? You guys are the, the are the villains here. Yeah, we have to do something about this uh, metal box, but not yet. Let's just do the worst side quest. And just be done with it. Ah, Spyro, welcome! We have found that hockey is a peaceful and calming sport. Would you like me? Would you like to join in a match against our goalkeeper? No, it's way too cold. And it, this is actually the case here. It's cold Sunday evening in October. And yeah, I'm just freezing to you, man. Maybe meditating for a while would provide you with the will to try. Yeah, and this quest is also um, where we get the skill point of this level and skill points in this game and in the third game are pretty much like hidden achievements that do absolutely nothing they're just for I'm afraid they're not even for bragging rights because you can't even see them in the menu but yeah I just like to do them except this one so I'll try to do the skill points but if I don't succeed, then who cares? There will be much easier skill points in the game, so I'll make sure to show it off in some other level. Are you ready to try your skill against a goalkeeper? Yes, please. You have two minutes to score five goals in the red goal. Difficulty two stars, that's bullshit. This uh, is actually pretty difficult. And I always struggle with this hockey mini game. And I don't really remember what it's like. So yeah, bear with me here. Oh, I think you, you need to like uh, grab the grab the thing in your mouth and then yeah, shoot shoot at him. Yeah, and just like that, we did it. But that's uh, that's not all. We have to score five. Was it five? I think it was five. Uh, yeah. Well, that's actually much easier than I uh, than I remember. But yeah, I think uh, this is just part one of the side quest, and yeah, the part two is something I'm definitely not looking forward to. Yeah, eat, eat dick. So yeah, I'm just trying to think of a commentary here, but I'm just gonna have to shut up for a while in, in this part 2 of this side quest, because it's actually uh, much more difficult. Oh, you could've just picked it up. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh, wow. Wow. First fail. Let's go. And hopefully the last one. Yeah, we did it. And the first orb is ours. Well done, have this. Would you like to try a game? Would you like to try a game for of one on one? No, I don't want to, but I need this orb anyway. Difficulty, I think it was two stars or three stars. I don't know, but yeah, that's actually pretty tricky. So here uh, we basically have to win five without... Uh, and the skill point here is... Yeah, we're on a good uh, streak here. I mean, it's, it's really, really isn't a streak. I'm just trying, gonna try to like concentrate here and try to score 
Oh yeah, we can hurt him. Yeah, just like that. Get over here. Get over here. Thank you. And... Oh boy. That didn't work out as much as I hoped it would. Yeah, the ice physics in this game aren't really that... that terrible. And just like that, we scored the second one. Yeah, I think the only difference in this is that you cannot jump on, while on ice, which makes sense, actually. Get over here, grab this! What? No! And yeah, goodbye skill point. Shit. I'm just gonna have to replay this level, I guess, for a skill point. But yeah, if I don't succeed in getting the skill point, then... Then who cares, I'm just not gonna do it, it's not something that you can see on the menu anyway, it's just for uh, bragging rights. Oh yeah, and just like that, uh, we're doing terrible at the moment. So yeah, die. Yeah, I don't, I really don't like how this, how uh, the turning here works. Mmm! Yeah, this is nowhere near as bad as one of the... Wow! Yeah, see, I told you this is really tricky. Or either that, or I'm just busy talking and not concentrating. Yeah, we got this. We got this. Uh, no, we don't. Why can I, like, breathe backwards? Just... Fart on him, dude. Yeah, and just like that, we got this. <sighs> Give me that. And yeah, just one more, I think. Yeah, this was far from perfect, but yeah, basically the skill point is you have to win 5 to 0. Oh, get out, dude. I'm just trying to... Ah, jeez. Grab this. No! I was so close. Oh jeez, he's gonna score a goal. Damn. Okay, deathmatch. Oh damn, that would've been so cool. Give me that. Wow, he just uh, he just hit me and yeah. scored the goal. Well done, have this. If you stare at it long enough, you might not see anything. Wow, that's so deep. And just like that, we have collected all of the orbs in this level. And I think the only thing we should worry about now is the... is the gems. And I think... Uh, I think the, the last remaining gems are in the metal box that we couldn't open yet and now i'll just make sure to show off how to do it now there's there are, there are more gems here which we can grab right now oh yeah we have a firework rocket here and this basically will destroy this box and gift us Countless amounts of treasure. And just like that, we have completed Colossus. So, yeah. Uh, I think. No, no, I don't think. This is definitely it for Colossus. So, let's head back and head straight for the next level.
but first the outro cutscene. Yeah, and now we have more than enough to pay for the swimming lessons and we're gonna do just that before heading to the next level. So hello moneybags. Hello there Spyro, would you like to learn to swim underwater? I suppose I could teach you for a small fee. Great, okay, when you jump in the water you can use blah blah blah. Uh, this doesn't matter for you uh, as a viewer. It should matter for me, and it doesn't, because I know how to swim in this game. Uh, Alright, I think that's it. Okay, here's the next level, and this is the uh, third level in the game, in the order I want to do. So yeah, uh, let me just position myself. And as you can see, the next level is called Idol Springs. Which is a pretty, pretty cool level, actually. But that, that's gonna have to wait for the next episode. So thank you so much for watching. This has been Dr. Saturn. And I'll see you all in the next episode. So see ya.